workshops are the heart of the Count Me In program. They come after the individual interview, run over a minimum of eight weeks, and are interspersed with the community visits and the media capsules. This part of the workshop manual contains a theoretical section explaining the principles underlying each workshop, a session plan, and the workshop materials. Check out the workshop manual for more details. There are eight workshop sessions with different topics related to subjects such as mental health, aging, and social participation. The topics are social participation, identifying your strengths, community resources, adapting to aging, financial management, communication, the social network, and community activism. The group leader can choose to adapt some of the program activities, putting more time on some aspects or even lengthening the program. After all, that's what makes the workshop a reflection of the participants. The group leader should have some experience in running workshops, skills in social support, and knowledge about mental health issues. Ideally, the group should have between five to 10 participants. The leader could choose to have the assistance of a co-leader as well. Check out the other Crazes videos for some more tips on running the workshops. The workshops inform the participants about the strategies and resources they can use. They also reinforce their feelings of personal efficacy and their social abilities. We kill three birds with one stone. Each workshop follows the same format. The introduction includes a review of the last session and the presentation of the day's topic. The main activities consist of two or three interactive or reflective exercises, as well as a follow-up of the visits to the organizations. The conclusion wraps up the session and the participants choose the texts for the media capsules. Let us quickly summarize the why and the how of the sessions. One, what is community participation? During this workshop, participants are asked to imagine other occasions they may have to be involved in their community, something out of their comfort zone. Two, targeting your strengths. In this session, we remind the participants that in their lifetime, they have already overcome many difficulties and that they have many personal strengths they can count on. Three, the community, a source of opportunities. During this meeting, the organizations for the visits will be selected and the practical aspects will be planned. When, how, what means of transportation, etc. Four, aging, how to adapt. If we are not well prepared, the effects of aging can have a big impact. In this session, we demystify some myths of aging related to mental health problems and psychosocial difficulties. Five, spend to participate. We don't have to spend a lot to have an active life and be involved in the community. Here we talk about things like budgeting, fraud, and knowing the difference between a want and a need. Six, communication a tool for participating. This session shows how to put listening and positive communication into practice. Seven, social networks, staying connected. Having a good social network helps us avoid unwanted social isolation. The participants are encouraged in this workshop to recognize the strengths of their network and to find ways to consolidate it. Eight, community activism. What the participants have to say is important. We cover ways they can get involved in the community to bring about change and make their voices heard in many ways. Preparation for the workshops should be done with the manual that contains more activities than you can possibly do. You will also find some tools to assist you. Attendance sheets, workshop material to photocopy such as a participation certificate, layouts for the media capsules, a logbook, a quotation journal, and a self-assessment form. The workshops are done in conjunction with the community visits and the media capsules. Take a look at the other Crazes videos to learn more about the other parts of the program. The Count Me In program is a production of Crazes, the Centre for Research and Expertise in Social Gerontology.